Hello and welcome back to the traps tutorial series. Today we're going to make a trap door that fall that opens when you stand on it and plunges you to your death. So the only thing that I've done is created these two little platforms where we're going to put a trap door across and that's it. So we're going to go to the content drawer. We're going to right click. We're going to make a new folder and call it trap door. I already have one for trap door. There's one that I did earlier, Blue Peter style. So trapdoor, and inside that we're going to add a blueprint class of an actor, call it BP Trap Door. And then we're gonna to go to Fab and get some wood effects to make it look like a wooden trapdoor. So I already have those, I'll link those. So you just click Fab, search for your wood effect. And then, <clears throat> because I couldn't find an actual trapdoor, we're just going to make our own. So I'm going to go to Modeling Tool. We're going to get a rectangle like that. Uh, just get, lift it up a bit. And that'll do. So we're going to make sure it goes into our current folder. Click Accept. Go back to Selection. Press Control in the spacebar. And we have this rectangle static mesh. So if we go into that, go to details, then we can get our wood, not that one, our wood material instance. And that is it just there. Beautiful. So now we can remove that from the world, go back to our active blueprint, go to add, go to static mesh, and select our rectangle that we just made. So the easiest and quickest way of doing this is to find it in your content browser. So just select it, go to static mesh, go to details, and then click this little arrow button just here. And that is our trap door. So next we need to add a box collision just here. But we need to make that part of the static mesh and then we need to make sure that it's just small enough so that it'll always trap our person so in the middle there we go and then if we right click the box click on component begin overlap we can do our equals play character branch just like that and then if it does we can add timeline call it open make sure it's always playing from the start click into it add a float track Let's call it open track right click add curve put this at zero zero right click add another curve put this at one and one we want this to open quite quickly if you want to make it quicker then just reduce this length and this time and from there we just want to check on what axis this is rotating so if we rotate it that's the Z so we don't want that make this a bit smaller so everyone can see and if we do that it rotates but it rotates in the middle and that's because our pivot point is just slightly off. So we're just going to dock this here. Go back to our third person map. Open up our static mesh again. And we're just going to go to modeling. Go to X form and go to edit pivot. And then we're going to move it just to the side. Click accept. And then make sure you bake it so that it works. And come back to selection. Get rid of the static mesh, we don't need that anymore. And now we can see that the pivot point has moved. Our box has moved as well, so we just need to move that back to the center. And now our pivot point has moved. So now if we rotate that on the X, we want to minus that by 90. So go back to the event graph. Let's get a lerp. And we want to move this to the alpha 
and we want it to go from 0 to minus 90. Set the relative. We want to get our static mesh and set relative rotation. We want to split that and put that on the X because that's what we know is on the X. And that is our trapdoor done. So if we get our trapdoor here, just like that, and we can make it bigger. That's probably too big. Make it a bit smaller. And we can make it wider. Just like that. And then if I play, trapdoor opens. Now that was still pretty slow. So we'll go back to that. We'll make it 0 0.5 seconds. And then we'll make this 0 0.5 as well and we'll try again right click play from here and that's it open there now you can add a delay so when you begin overlap you can delay it a little bit uh, so it gives you time to get off it or you can have it go down uh, as soon as you overlap which is what i want and then to add the consequence we're going to get our def volume which is our inside uh, inside our third person is where i put mine i'm just going to add it below so when we play from here we fall into our traps and we die and it's as good as that